So, hello. Um, my name is Sean Corcoran. I'm a, I'm an artist. Um, my wife and I run a, a business out here on the Copper Coast uh, near Bunman um, called uh, called the Art Hand. And the Art Hand, up until uh, up until more recent times, has been an art school. But we've had to change and adapt to the times. Um, it's been a strange year that we've all been through and a bit longer. Uh, so I suppose I'd like to uh, say thank you to uh, Fergal and to uh, Mary uh, and to the Theatre Royal for having me as part of this uh, res resurgence for the arts uh, event. I'm delighted to kind of contribute whatever it is. Uh, hopefully I might have something to add to the debate. Um, so I suppose uh, before I recorded this, I've kind of been thinking about it for a few weeks. It's it's April now uh, when you're watching this, but it's actually uh, February for me. So I hope the last few weeks uh, have been kind to you. And uh, the, the idea of, I don't know what's happened in the last few weeks. I've got events coming up in March um, uh, and different things that I'm working on around. Uh, so, so that whole idea of, you know, where we're at now is an important thing. And I suppose before I kind of give an insight myself, I would just like to um, kind of think about for a second what, what the word resurgence means. So I actually, I looked it up in the uh, dictionary and according to that, I've written it down here, it says that resurgence is an increase or revival uh, after a period of little activity, popularity or occurrence. So in other words, it's like a, uh, it's like a comeback or recovery. It's like rising again, uh, or it's like the resumption, or it's a rebirth, or indeed uh, a revitalization. So from that point of view, um, the way I look at it anyway, certainly as an artist and as somebody trying to make a living, um, you know, we have two young kids, well, they're teenagers now, um, uh, Alfie and Matilda, and really, I suppose, we're trying to make a living out here uh, out in the middle of nowhere in a beautiful part of the world on the cliffs here. But in terms of the resurgence idea, I feel that before we can figure out how to move forward, um, we need to be able to look back uh, at where we were. And, and then we need to be able to uh, look at where we are now and maybe appreciate where we are now as well in, for, for many people um before we can kind of take positive steps to uh revitalize uh the world or the arts depending on what way you look at it so i'm going to start by uh looking back and i suppose for me uh back in 2020 um last february and last march uh like from a personal point of view uh, like I had some exciting opportunities on the go. I just completed a uh, an international commission, f basically for the Welsh government, where we did a piece of sand art uh, here in Ireland. While simultaneously, another sand artist, Mark Trainer, uh, in Wales, created um, a piece of sand art over there, and it was a symbolic gesture between um, Ireland and Wales that connected the two countries through. Uh, through the conservation, through a good news story with the, the red kite, the bird, um, that's been brought back from extinction, extin extinction basically in Wales and through cooperation has returned to Ireland as well now. So I suppose it was a good news story and it was, a, it was quite a high profile piece to be working on. And directly after that, um, um, I, I flew to Texas and I was working at a festival uh, honoured to, to be a featured artist at the uh, Lano Earth Art Festival. Uh, so uh, 30 or 40 artists, I guess, from all around the world were participating uh, in Texas uh, in this beautiful, uh, amazing landscape um, in two or three weeks build up to, to this uh, event where the public would come and uh, mingle with the artists. And it was it's a beautiful, beautiful event. But... That was March, and really, I suppose, uh, like I had to come back out of there in quite a uh, bizarre situation. Like I had been literally on my hands and knees in Texas, um, making art for two or three weeks, and uh, disconnected from the planet, really, in many ways. Um, and then a state of emergency was declared in Texas. So, you know, I, um, uh, 
I managed to get back through the help of some of my American friends, uh, Gretchen, thank you, and uh, all the team over there. Um, uh, but like it was, it was pandemonium getting through airports and flying from one airport to the next and trying to get back into Europe. Eventually got into uh, back into Europe and uh, and managed to connect uh, back into Ireland. Then, uh, but like people running through airports, screaming, crying, uh, like the staff were completely uh, difficult to deal with, shall we say. Uh, it was a world crisis had literally unfolded what felt like me to me almost like overnight so I suppose as an environmental artist as a land artist uh, many people would know me from the work I do on beaches uh, with the sand art like um, it's quite a kind of a pensive mindful process in terms of uh, how I create my work and how I build myself up to creating the work in terms of having myself in, in the state of mind to be ready to bring as much uh, beauty to the world in terms of what I try and um, showcase and represent in my work is an important part. Positivity is an important thing to me. So so for me, it was like an overnight, suddenly the world had changed. And um, so I, I went into quarantine in the loft above the studio here for two weeks then when I returned. Um, and I suppose from then, looking back, even before that, I suppose, like what, what we were here in the art hand was an art school. We were teaching uh, workshops, um, um, stained glass and mosaic and uh, uh, outdoor events of, uh, on the beach and at festivals around Ireland and the UK. And suddenly that whole environment was, uh, was no more. That was, that was the end of that kind of uh, art form. It would never be collaborative art, like in terms of like, for example, with mosaic where uh, hundreds of people are gathering treasure and sticking it all together. That's, that's not uh, appropriate in, in, in the pandemic. So, so like that completely went, that was our main form of uh, income, I, I guess, was collaborative mosaic. So we, we had to kind of consider how are we going to maintain our livelihood? So in terms of um, where we are right here, right now, um, uh, we've th thanks to the Waterford Chamber um, that we're a member of and the uh, local enterprise office, we, we were fortunate enough to get uh, uh, funding uh, for a new website and basically uh, thearthand.com if you'd like to have a look. But basically the art hand is no longer really an art school and it's now uh, more steering towards being an art gallery uh, which will one day hopefully be a physical gallery where you can come and visit us here on the Copper Coast. But at the moment, it's an online gallery and it's a stu our studio space for myself uh, and my wife, Miranda, who's an artist as well. Um, so that's kind of where we're at now. Uh, we're, we're, we're selling our work. Uh, I, I sell sand art prints and Miranda sells her paintings. That's our main source of income at the moment. Um, now, we've lots of things in the pipeline. We're planning lots of things. Um, uh, for the future but I suppose when you look back and you figure out where you are now um, there's that sense of you got to take a deep breath and kind of realize that well, well you know thankfully I my family hasn't been severely uh, impacted by the pandemic and so you kind of have to appreciate where you're at in the world and, and I suppose it's times like you know when I look back to last February and last March uh, working with Mark Trainer while he was in Wales and I was in Ireland and sadly last July Mark Trainer um uh, drowned uh in a, in a tragedy at sea and so reflective moments when you kind of look back before the crisis shall we say and you know it, it gives you a sense of appreciation for where we are now and even with the festival in Texas that I was at last March like where we're at now is um I'm delighted to be part of a small crew, including the people in Texas and some artists in the UK. Uh, I suppose there's about 10 or 12 of us that are have been pulling it together uh, as, a, as a revival or, or resurgence. Uh, it's an online festival. It will actually at this point have happened. Um, uh, hopefully it all went well uh, back at the end of March, just uh, last week, I guess, from, from where you're looking at this video. So like that's an example that's an example of like putting things into perspective like um i guess with you know mark you know and you know i never met him 
uh, but we worked together at the same time and we, we, we kind of like spent weeks and weeks building up to that with the PR companies and all the film crews and so on. So it was kind of like as if we got to know each other and we had plans to connect in Ireland and, and Wales not long after that. And so things change. Um, so the future, I suppose, um, like I personally, um, you know, I'm working on a couple of projects that that festival, the online festival, which is hopefully over by now. Uh, that's that's part of it. So do do visit that if you'd like to look back on some of the recordings. The Lano, that's double L A N O, uh, Lan, Lano uh, Land Art Festival. Um, you see the all the recordings will be on uh, Facebook on their on their Facebook page. Um, by now, uh, to look back on if you do wish to. Another project I'm working on is um, the Celtic Corridor, and the Celtic Corridor is a project again of its time because we feel it's like it's kind of like ground zero in terms of tourism in Ireland at the moment and globally so like a colleague of mine Joe Lonergan uh, have been working on this idea for years but we actually only launched it last July with a trip uh, along the Irish section of the Celtic Corridor um, and the Celtic Corridor it's it's about connecting communities all along the perimeter of the Celtic Sea. And this is the Celtic Sea where we are here on the southern coast of Ireland, but it also touches uh, parts of uh, Wales, Cornwall, Devon and uh, Brittany in northern France. So that's an exciting project that I'm hoping will develop over the months and years uh, to come. That it, If we can connect the communities all the way along, then it can become a sustainable and environmental uh, tourism initiative. So listen, thank you very much. Um, look out for each other. Uh, take care um, um, and I look forward to being part of an exciting future in Waterford and in Ireland and globally connecting across the world. Thank you very much. All the best. Bye.